it's a, it's a treat to be on TV right now. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, I, I've got to ask you about your brother Jose. He's catching obviously in, in this game tonight. And do you guys still have the kind of relationship where you get on each other at this point? I mean, does he come over and get on you, and you get on him when, he, when you see each other? No, not really. We we don't even talk about too much about baseball. We try to keep it in the family. You know, like uh, I haven't seen him in in months, and all of a sudden he sees me, and I'm gonna start talking about how he he's not hitting well, or <laughs> you know. Yeah. So we try to keep it. You know, we try to talk about the family, how he's doing, and everything. So we keep it away. Benji, what was it like growing up in your family? You ended up with three brothers in one family becoming excellent big league catchers. Was your dad your teacher? What was it like growing up in your family? We had a bunch of teachers, um, a bunch of leaders, uh, our aunts and, and uncles and uh, grandpas and grandmas and all. Everybody chipped in a little bit. So um, my dad sacrificed, my mom sacrificed a lot for us. So. That, that's what I think it made us uh -huh. uh, the way we are right now. It's just the sacrifice that they did for us and being in the ballpark every day without saying, without hesitating and without saying, you know, and no uh, here and then, you know, he, they, they just support us. Yeah, watching you, uh, Benji, when you're, when you're working with guys uh, catching and, and uh, even down at first base in time, Beltre, you know, a nice play. It, it looks like teaching and giving back to the game is really important to you, and it sounds like the way you were raised, that, that was an important part of it also. Yes, we never, I don't remember from, I played since I was six until 17, 18, and then I signed. But uh, I never, I don't remember our teams being one guy. I, I remember us helping each other. I remember uh, everybody just picking each other up. So that's the way I grew up. I think that's where it comes from. And uh, I, I like to help, seriously. I, I like to put my... Uh, my information out there for the guys and then make them better and, and that's what I'm going to do. One of the guys that I'm sure you've had a big influence on is Robinson Chirinos and we've been talking about his improvement all year. How has it been working with him? Oh it's been fun because he, he's all minded man. He's a he's a horse you know and, and he likes to he wants to learn first of all he wants to learn and that's the key. Um, but he's great man he he's doing great. We just tweak a few things that he had you know and I wish I could. I wish I could show you. <laughs> it's easier for me to show you that that sure. to uh, say it. But um, we took a, a few things. Uh, he already had great hands. He already had great arm, and he put it in the plate. And uh, wow, he's been a surprise for us. It sounds like you took what he had. Is oh, he came up as a, an infielder, a third baseman, and you took the abilities he developed there, and then kind of transferred him to being a better catcher. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want him to catch like me or. Or anything like that, you know. You don't want him to catch like Benito Santiago, for example. You just mm -hmm. want him to be Robbie, and the way he catches, that's the way you go at it. It's the same way as hitting. You don't want to teach everybody hit like Rob Peru, but you know, you just want to look at him and you know, the way he's doing it. We work with it. Benji, who were or was a catcher that you looked up to when you were a little boy? I, I assume you were a catcher when you were a little boy. Who did you look up to? Um, you know what? I tell you the truth. Uh, my book is coming out, so all the information you can have it there. But <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> no, I was never. A, I was never a catcher until a scout saw me and gave me a catcher's mat in the tryout, and, and then I signed as a catcher. But I never even caught in my life until really? that day. Uh, then I became 17, and then I became a catcher. But my brothers, they're always been, in a, you know, if you go to my Facebook, you'll see a picture of Yadi when he was five and six when he was a catcher and, <laughs> you know, all those things. So they, they both been catchers and fourth batter. I was I was more like a first base and like a ninth batter because that's the last one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've come a long way since then. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. Well, I, I bet it is uh, it's quite a quite a gathering when uh, when all of you get together uh, you and Yadier and uh, and Jose and your family so you got to have a have a real great relationship with all of you. Oh man we love each other so much and we're picking each other up every time and every time we get uh, together man it's, 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 it gets crazy we play dominoes and you know <laughs> and we play pool and we uh, we enjoy ourselves our companies and, and our families like our nieces and and nephews and, and they enjoy it so it's a family it really really family matters when we uh, when we get together are you pretty much able to do that once a year or more um, when I when I retire I did it like four times uh -huh. I had a chance to see him four times a year but since I've been coaching you only get one shot and it's a Christmas you know and then that time 
Benji, you were traded over to the Rangers right in the middle of a pennant race and played on a terrific team. What are your memories coming over here during that season? Well, um, it's not my first memory, but but it's just how hard it was with me coming from San Francisco and being 50 uh, every single day, uh, getting here and it's over 100 for every day. So yeah. uh, it was a very, very tough transition for me. Uh, that, I remember that a lot, but uh, inside the inside the lines, I remember that day that we clinched and we went to the World Series. I wanted a wanted a win so bad for the fans of Texas and and for everybody here. Uh, we couldn't do it, but uh, I enjoyed that that day when we clinched and we went on to uh, the World Series. Sure. One of the things I remember, uh, Benji, about that uh, particular run, and you and I had talked about this when when it was happening, your ability to work with Neftali Feliz, who was kind of a uh, a youngster at the at the time with the second out not quite in time and Jose is able to beat it out but you were able to, to take Natalie Feliz who had the had a history of being a little bit erratic a young man and really settle him down during a ball game and I I, I just I marveled at how you were able to do that I think uh, I think it works with every pitcher and every catcher I think a catcher has to be a guide you know you have to guide him uh, so I figured if I guide him, maybe not by saying much, but by showing him where I want that ball, or by showing him how to get, how to get to the spot. That, I think that's what my communication with him was. You know, uh, I told him you don't have to throw hard; just hit my mat or, or come down instead of up. Things like that. You know, those little things they they help, man. And people overlook those things. And uh, I always tell my catchers the communication is is huge, but you got to show him, you got to give him a vision, what you want to do. Uh, out there so they can see you moving they can see the Met moving and, and that's when they realize hey I'm going this way so that's the only thing I try with him mm -hmm. but sure had a calming effect on him I, I know that I mean, you must have been able to instill some confidence in him yeah a lot of confidence comes from him throwing yeah. that's it you know it's not it's nothing about anything else yeah. Benji thanks very much appreciate thank you, Benji. you taking the thank time you guys. thank you all right Rays are gone in the fourth after three and a half it remains Tampa Bay four 